With the highly anticipated Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney fight only being a couple of days away, the pair's training is being ramped up, and it appears as though Devin Haney is shocked by Ryan Garcia's recent training and believes this fight will be a walk in the park. So be sure to stick around till the end for the full details. Outside of the ring, the rivalry is already intensifying. Drama on social media and trash talk have been back and forth, and now Haney has targeted Garcia's most recent training video, igniting more controversy. Just days before their fight on April 20th, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia had escalated into a full-fledged war on social media, as well as in the ring. By posting video of Haney sparring with Gervonta Tank Davis on his YouTube channel, Garcia added a metaphorical grenade to the already volatile situation. This wasn't your typical sparring clip, as the grainy video shows a young Haney appearing overpowered by Davis's heavy blows. After Ryan Garcia's pre-fight shenanigans, Devin Haney has had enough of the friendly banter and is telling the world that he is taking the fight personally. Haney and Garcia have spent the most of their life together. They met on the same USA boxing circuit and engaged in six amateur fights before they were introduced. Despite being adversaries, they developed a friendship over time and stayed cordial. Much has changed, even though Haney thinks that some of Garcia's alleged contempt or undervaluing of his abilities will disappear after the bout. In a recent video that was posted to Dazen Boxing's YouTube channel, Haney discussed Garcia with Chris Mannix. Ryan Garcia has known me since I was 10 years old, Haney said. He knows the type of fighter I am. He can say what he is going to say. We know he is going to bark and downplay me, the type of fighter I am. After April 20th, he is going to say he knew how great I was. Despite the fact that some believe Garcia is merely trying to market the fight, Haney has not been happy with the latter's recent actions. He crossed the line, said Haney, referring to comments Garcia has made about his religion. Let's leave it at what it is now. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. By doing this, you'll never miss out on any future videos from the combat sports world. Haney, who is more well known for his clever boxing fitness and IQ than for his elite power, attacked Garcia's strength. Although Haney has won the most of his big battles, he is unconcerned about Garcia's apparent power advantage. A lot of these guys have had power, Haney said. I am just on a different level. He can bring all the power he wants. I am going to bring the skills, the IQ that I got, and show him, handicap him of his power, like I do. These past few days, Ryan Garcia has been posting new training footage, and Devin Haney hasn't exactly been all that impressed. Of course, Ryan Garcia's main attribute is his speed and power, although with Devin Haney's boxing IQ, it will be a tough fight. Especially when you compare their recent opponents, Devin Haney is way ahead. Ryan Garcia blamed his opponent for the low ticket sales, saying he carried the promotion of his fight with Devin Haney on his back. Regardless as to whether or not you think Ryan Garcia will win the fight, or even if you like the guy, you cannot sit here and say he hasn't carried the fight. Without his outlandish antics on social media this past month, no one would even know the fight is happening. Garcia recently claimed to have pushed for lower event prices and maintained that the low sales were the result of Haney not being a draw. Devin Haney is not a draw, and I definitely have been carrying this promotion on my back by myself, Garcia said. Nobody wants to watch a guy that supposedly can't crack an egg. We're not going to underestimate him. He may have power when I step in there with him. I don't know. I was a big advocate for lowering the prices. I personally think the prices were very high, and I want everybody to be in the building. I don't think a lot of Americans can afford $500 tickets for the top row. I wouldn't even pay that, and I have enough money to do that, but I'm not going to pay $500 to be at the top row. That's crazy. Earlier on in the video, we briefly spoke about how long the pair have known each other, and in the build-up to the fight, everyone has been referencing their amateur fights and who won each one. For Haney, their first encounter at the Junior Golden Gloves was more than just a fight. I didn't have that many fights, didn't have much experience, and Ryan Garcia had a lot of experience. He had a big following, the Latinos, and we fought at a mosque, so all that. But it was the whole region. They knew Ryan Garcia. 
so they were going crazy for him, but I didn't know. Nobody knew me. They thought he was going to just blow me out of the water. Despite the astronomical odds, Haney gave a remarkable performance. It was a good fight. Ryan won the fight, so that's when it woke me up to the amateur boxing scene. People started to know me. People started to think, oh, okay, that was the guy that put up a great fight. Haney's professional debut and subsequent triumphs were greatly aided by this pivotal event. Considering we have already seen some of Ryan Garcia's new training, it would only be right if we look at some of Devin Haney's new footage, and the guy is locked in more than ever for this fight. There's a reason Devin Haney is undefeated in 31 pro fights, with over 15 knockouts. He's arguably the world's best pound-for-pounder fighter, along with the likes of Terence Crawford and Canelo. Ryan Garcia made an appearance at the Friday press conference for Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal to provide some words of encouragement and to announce that he will be performing a boxing clinic on Devin Haney for their fight this Saturday coming. I'm ready to fuck Devin Haney up next week. Anybody betting against me? Y'all just lost money. Real talk. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest predictions for this fight come Saturday? Could you see an upset with Ryan Garcia ending Devin Haney's undefeated record? Or will Devin Haney show the world why he's the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter and level above Ryan? Comment down below. Eddie Hearn argued that although the next fight promises fierce combat, he has reservations about Garcia's commitment to winning, given his previous actions. Eddie also agreed with Haney's position on the fight, but underlined the difficult task King Ryan presents. Devin Haney will be very dominant in the fight, you don't really know where Ryan's at. If Ryan's at his best, he's going to be competitive. You know, he can punch hard. He has got good reactions. He has a good style to take on Devin Haney. But Devin is so focused, so razor sharp. Meanwhile, Oscar De La Hoya is extremely confident with Ryan's boxing abilities come April 20th and thinks he's going to make a huge statement. Ryan will be ready. I see Ryan going out there and doing something special. Mark my words. Ryan has an excellent record of 24 victories and 20 knockouts, according to De La Hoya, and he is definitely ready for their main event, because he is well versed in Haney's fighting style. Oscar ignores the strange things that 25-year-old Ryan shares on social media, because he believes that Ryan spends the majority of his day training Haney, and that it only takes a moment for Ryan to post. He continued, I think it's a knockout. I really do. I don't even know if it's down on the cards. Keep in mind, they're three. Three. They know each other, Ryan and Haney handled him. This is number seven, and it's for all the marbles. The contrasting styles, talents, and vulnerabilities of Haney and Garcia guarantee an exciting showdown as the fight date draws near. And we cannot wait for the first bell to ring come this Saturday. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Fight Fury for future videos from the combat sports world and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.